it is showtime at Williams Grove Speedway. Out of turn four and down the front straightaway. Early leader is Shane Stewart, Anthony Macri second, Donnie Schultz and Darren Pittman Bell for third. Macri looking to gain some ground on Stewart. Down the back stretch, they cross into the bridge and race into turn three. Scott's coming after Macri in four. Draws alongside him momentarily, but Macri holds the spot. Macri moving in on Shane Stewart. Macri working the loose on a race trap off turn number two. Shane Stewart off the cushion, gets away from them on the back stretch. Shane Stewart, Anthony Macri, Tony Schatz, Darren Pittman, and Lance DeWeese, the top five. Schatz lower on the speedway, entering turn three, can't hold that low line, drifts high out of corner number four. Shane Stewart still on the point, caution flag, car spinning in turn number three. Car upside down now, we are under red flag conditions. The green looks like Donnie Schatz got a great restart on the inside lane of the speedway. Schatz coming after Macri for the second spot as they race into turn number one. Pittman tries the outside, goes around Schatz, but Macri, good on the bottom, maintains second place. Pittman took advantage of Schatz going to the bottom, and now Pittman coming out for the second place car of Anthony Macri. Lance DeWeese closing in on the 15 of Schatz as they exit turn four. Craig Kinzer and Brian Monteith race for position. They're gaining ground on Tim Schaefer and Lucas Wolf, and that allows Anthony Macri to get even closer to the number 71 for the back of the lead. Darren Pittman also moving in. He's in third place, and he's coming fast. Caution on the speedway, car at the top of turn four. Just as Macri had caught the leader, he was right on Stewart's bumper when the yellow came out. Macri all over Shane Stewart for the lead into turn one. Dies to the bottom. Slide job. Macri leads. Here's Stewart back to the inside. Down the back straightaway. Stewart back in front as they reach turn three. Macri again goes to the low side of the racetrack, but he's got company now. Donnie Schatz chasing Macri to turn number one. Schatz looks to the inside. Macri on the cushion. Shane Stewart showing the way. Macri second. Schatz third. Pittman fourth. And Lance DeWeese in fifth. On the move. Brock Zierfoss up the seventh and challenging sixth place. David Gravel. Shane Stewart continues to set the pace. Macri trying to run him down again. Schatz, Pittman, and DeWeese your top five once again. Here comes your leader, Shane Stewart. Stewart now gaining just a bit on Mack. Off the pace, Lance DeWeese, DeWeese slowing, going into turn number one, and the caution flag will wave. But from the 10th starting position, Zirpas has been strong as of late in this one. Shots to the inside of Macri in one and two, and Donnie Shots has taken second place. Shots second, here's Macri taking a peek back to the inside. Shots moves down to protect Macri, goes up top in three and four. Zierfoss all over Pittman racing for the fourth spot. Macri trying to come back and shots for second. Down the front stretch into turn one. Macri to the bottom, slide job. He's got it back for the moment. Can Shots get back by? Meanwhile, Shane Stewart running off with this one now. David Gravel back by Brock Zierfoss at the end of the back straightaway. Shane Stewart in a zip code of his own. Still seven laps to go. The lead is 1.6 seconds. Can the 10-time champion track down the driver in the Indy Race Part 71? Stewart's lead, 1.7 seconds over second place Donnie Schatz. Back stretch into turn three. White flag in the air, one to go for Shane Stewart of Williams Grove. Stewart to the cushion in turn one. Backstretch under the bridge for the final time. Checkered flag waving, and Shane Stewart gets his first win of the season. It comes from Williams Grove. Donnie Schott second, Anthony Macri third, Darren Pippen fourth, and at the line, Brock Sierfoss gets by David Gravel to take this. Ladies and gentlemen, Shane Stewart. live coverage of every World of Outlaws series event and for extended on-demand race content, visit DirtVision.com. For full race results, highlights, and series news, visit WorldOfOutlaws.com.